Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, let us persevere in running the race before us with our eyes fixed on you, Lord. In light of that verse from the book of Hebrews, we're all life runners. And if you need more proof, you may remember that when the apostles heard that the rock was rolled away from the tomb, what did they do? They ran. And you may remember the beloved apostle got there before Peter, and he waited for Peter to go in first, obviously recognizing he had a special position. The important thing to remember there is you don't have to be the fastest runner to be the Pope. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know that 1.5 million American lives were lost during the Civil War? And thanks to a lawyer by the name of Abraham Lincoln, he ended that. And he put an end to the second biggest social injustice issue of our time. We have a civil war going on right now in our country. And we're losing in the neighborhood of 1.5 million American lives per year. How's that for perspective going into this? I visited the Holocaust Museum this afternoon with some of my Life Runners teammates. And it brought back a memory from when I visited Dachau in 1987. And I remember one of the stories that I read when I was at Dachau that folks, when they'd hear the trains go by during mass, they would sing louder. When they heard the trains going by on the way to the concentration camps, they would sing louder. Our culture today is trying to sing over the horror of our own Holocaust. So this is the perspective that we gather today. And my hope is that we don't sing louder today, but we listen harder. And then we act more. And then we all sing together when this is over. So I would like to let all the folks that are speaking know uh, how this is going to work. And they all know they have a certain number of minutes allotted. <coughs> and the cue for you that you have one minute remaining will be that I will stand up. So everyone else will notice, okay? Everyone will know that you have one minute. The cue that you have ten seconds remaining is I'll actually move towards you. <laughs> and we're going to see if a lieutenant colonel in the Air Force can help keep us on time. Because I know that people have a lot going on on this great March of Life retreat weekend. So our first speaker is going to be Mandy Campbell from the Liberty Council. So if you could please go up, Mandy, and share a few minutes with us. Yeah, there we go. 